Hello again, everybody. I am back with another haul video from Little Black Bag. This time I'm going to be showing items that I got from two separate uh, bags. So when you see all the stuff, please <laughs> don't think that um, I was adding to bag a lot or a lot of different things were going on. It's just they're two separate bags. They just happen to arrive um, pretty close to one another. I apologize uh, for the lighting today. It's a little dark, I know. But I wanted to get the video done. Um, didn't have time to set up the lights. And well, none of the items that I'm going to be showing today um, are really items that need a lot of color. I mean, you'll, you'll, you'll understand once I explain. All right. So I am wearing today the famous or now famous mint scarf. Um, I love it. It's perfect for spring and summer. It's very thin, so it's like a tissue, kind of. Um, and it's very long, so you can definitely do lots of different things. I think I was wearing it like this today. Um, but it's, it's great, because it's not too hot and it's really pretty and on trend with all the flowers so i know it's hard to get right now in terms of trading but if it's your thing then by all means get it if you don't like that it's so thin then hey i'm sure there's a lot of other people there that's gonna love to trade for it um but it's very soft it's not it's not scratchy i mean it's not gonna be it's not silk but it's still really nice um and I don't have to worry about it getting too wrinkly either. Okay, another item that I received in these boxes are the Lydell earrings. You may have seen them on Romina. I love the size on these. They're really pretty. It's got a nice mint, um, minty green stones and other little sparkles in there. Let me get it a little bit closer so you can see what it looks like. It's just a great everyday earring. I'm really pleased with them. They're very easy to get right now, so if you're able to, please just go ahead and spring for them because they're, they're awesome. I really love these. Um, another item that I received was the Jessica Simpson Twist Bangle. This is the one uh, with the gold and silver mixed, but you can also get it just the plain silver, but it's really neat. Um, this is perfect for my wrist, as, as, I, as I've said before in my video, videos, um, I'm six and a half inches and it's, you know, relatively easy for me to put them on and take them off. If your wrists are smaller, you might still be able to wear these. Um, it, they're not terribly huge. They're really neat, you know, they don't get lost. <laughs> Blooper. Um, I will get that later. But uh, I know there's not many of those left on the site, but they're really nice. So if you're able to trade for them, go ahead, especially if you like bangles like I do. Um, I'll continue on with the bracelets. So I also got the Lenia Pell um, leather studded bracelet in the yellow. I had been trying to trade for one of these for the longest time. And I'm really happy that I got it. I mean, I can just tell that I will be able to wear this for years to come. It's it's really nice. Um, it has three different positions um, in terms of tightness. It doesn't really run that large. So for a large wristed person, not recommended. Um, smaller wrists should be okay. And I guess if you're about me, then a six and a half. It'll, it'll be perfect. I think I can pretty much wear it um, in the middle or in the last hole. So if I was going to go to the very end, it, it's not going to reach for me. But in any case, really nice bracelet. It comes in other colors. I know they might not be any more left, but if one happens to pop in, it's a good purchase. Um, another bracelet that I was able to trade for this time is the Zad Love Bracelet. This is the size. And now the really cool thing with this one is because it's chains, the links in the chain are kind of big, you can pretty much 
close it wherever you want. So you can make it really loose or, you know, if I was to put it at the very biggest setting, you can see how much extra space I have. And uh, for somebody with a really tiny wrist, you can really just close it just about anywhere. I mean, you'll get some dangling off the side, but you can either cut that off with um, some wire cutters or you can just leave it there and then you have options. So it's really cute. It's not something that looks super expensive. So I'll put that out there. It, it's a lesser, I don't like using the word cheap, but um, cause it's still pretty, it's still nice but it's not going to be the higher quality end stuff. But for a bracelet that retails at $20, you really can't expect um, something that amazing anyway. I'm going to take this scarf off for a moment. And that's because the next item I'll be showing you is a necklace. Um, I believe this is also, I think this is all the rage. And there might be a few of these still left. I know it came in more than one color. I kind of like it. It reminds me of a little flags. And it's just really cute and dainty. It kind of goes like so. I'm not sure if I have it exactly right, but you get the idea. It's really it's a really nice necklace. It uh this is about the shortest that it goes. It does have extenders, so if you have a larger neck, you should be completely safe with this one. So it's really cute. So, very happy. And may I just say, I am really uh, impressed and pleased with the, um, the better quality of packing that Little Black Bag has been doing the last two boxes I've received. Everything's been wrapped, and you can really tell that they've been a lot more careful about putting everything in the boxes. So I'm very happy about that, and I hope that's going to continue to um, prevent items from being damaged during shipping. So hopefully you won't get as many of those. I was very fortunate that none of my items in uh, these two bags had any kind of damage. So that's good news. And then I got the macrame necklace. Um, I showed it in my last video as well. This time I got it in the coral, uh, the pinkish coral color. So when you put it on, that's about how long it is. And I love it. So I'm, I'm looking forward to getting some matching earrings because there's, there's some by Robert Rose that I think will just um, go really well with this. So this is great for spring and I'm looking forward to wearing it. And um, I also got a La Vanilla um, lavender scented roller ball. This scent, I understand uh, some people did not like it, um, and that's understandable. Scent and fragrance, it's something that's very individual, but I do love it. I think it's, it's great. So, it's not really strong. It's not gonna be something that's overpowering, um, and I really enjoy that about La Vanilla, and also the fact that it's all natural. So, if you have any that you don't like, send them my way <laughs> or contact me and I'll trade you for something nice uh, because I really do enjoy the La Vanilla products uh, and I recommend them so you know check it out and try it out if it's not for you I'm sorry <laughs> I mean but it's something it's so hard to uh, convey if you're not actually smelling it and we don't have smell of vision yet so um, I guess you decide whether you want to take that risk or not Okay, and the final two items that I'm going to be showing are shoes. Shoes. So, the first shoes I will be showing you, I'm just going to do this time like this. These are, I forget, I believe the brand is Two Lips. It's the name of the brand. And these have the lace. They're really tall, as you can see but they are so comfortable. So I've been really, really fortunate that all the shoes that I've gotten so far have fit me perfect. And that's that's not something that um, I expected at all. So I really do think it's luck because I have wide feet and I do have issues with sizes sometimes. Um, 
but I've gotten really lucky. So these are seven and a half and it's beautiful. I just wanted a lace shoe to go with my lace totes and I just thought this would be great for a date night or for a nice dress. Um, I'm not crazy about the top straps, but I was happy to discover that you can take the strap off. So it's not permanently attached to the back of the shoe. So if you're like me and you don't want to wear the strap, you can remove it and put it back on later on another day if you decide you want to wear it. So that's a really nice feature on these shoes. So I recommend them um, if you can walk in high shoes. If you think about it, when you take off the platform, the heel is really only that tall. So it's, you know, it'll give you a lot of height, but it's the platform that does it really. The platforms. But anywho, so that's this shoe. The other shoes I got are the Pink and Pepper Ice Sandals. Um, I think the Gladiator style is coming back into fashion or, or is kind of in this year. And I was, you know, wanting to check it out and see how it goes. And what I really loved about these when I got them is this. That zipper is awesome because instead of having to mess with these buckles every time I put the shoes on, you can just zip and unzip and that's really great. Now on these, I went with a seven and a half and I haven't had my pedicure done recently, so forgive me, but that's kind of how they look. And this is where my yoga comes in handy. Anywho. They're really cute, I think, for the summer with a nice, pretty skirt. Um, again, easy to take on and off. I guess with the buckles, you can adjust. I didn't have to adjust them. I just wore them as they came. But um, they come. They came for me on the middle hole, but they have, the buckles aren't just decorative. They do work. So you can make them uh, larger or smaller if you need to. Um, I got these in a seven and a half, and as I've mentioned before, when I wear flats, I usually go with a seven. So they actually are slightly big on me, but because of how this heel is, it hides it. So if you're worried about getting it too big, you know, about half size um, larger than you normally do, the, the heel thing might hide it. So it might not be that bad. Um, I mean, it, I guess it's up to you how you want to do the sizing. But these are so cute and they came very nicely packaged, nothing wrong with them. Um, so I definitely recommend them. I know they also come in black. Um, so it's something to check out. So I've been very happy with my shoes so far and I'm really surprised by that because I was um, kind of hesitant about getting shoes um, from Little Black Bag, just the whole size issue, which is understandably important. Uh, but you know a lot of these shoes are available in some stores so if you're able to see them in the stores beforehand and try them on you know that's a good alternative that way you kind of know um, what to get so if you're worried then that's a good strategy to have in the meantime um, you might be able to view this video on Cinco de Mayo and if you do, that means it's the last day to enter my giveaway. The giveaway, all the details and the information are in my previous video. So just go ahead and click on my channel and watch the video that came before this one. And then you can go ahead and put your comments in to get in that last minute submission so that you um, has, have a chance to win the giveaway. All right, so hopefully next time you see me, I will be announcing the winner. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Have a great day. Bye.